Let It Be stands tall in the Beatles' catalog, not just as a chart-topping hit, but as a song marred by internal conflict, especially from John Lennon. Are we supposed to giggle in the solo? Yeah. Okay. Despite the track's global adoration, Lennon couldn't conceal his disdain for it, and here's why. The root of Lennon's aversion can be traced back to the tumultuous sessions for the album Let It Be, the Beatles' swan song. By the time they were piecing together the White Album in 1968, the band was already fracturing. Creative clashes and business squabbles were the order of the day, setting the stage for an even more strained atmosphere during the Let It Be recordings. At the heart of the tension was the creative rift between Lennon and Paul McCartney. Each had evolved a distinct songwriting style by then, and neither was willing to compromise. McCartney, tired of Lennon's avant-garde experiments, leaned into what Lennon disparagingly called granny music, a nod to McCartney's familial musical roots. Despite this tension, McCartney's inspiration for Let It Be came from a dream about his deceased mother. She seemed to realize that I was going through struggles and she said, it's going to be okay. It's all really going to be okay. And she said, just, just let it be. An inspiration that failed to move Lennon, who saw the song as suited more for McCartney's solo ventures than for the Beatles. Lennon later critiqued Let It Be as being more reflective of McCartney's side projects, potentially a better fit for Wings than the Beatles. He saw the song as anachronistic, a throwback that didn't mesh with the times, wrongly associating its inspiration with Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water, even though Let It Be preceded it in the studio. A significant point of contention for Lennon was the song's perceived religious undertones. McCartney's references to Mother Mary clashed with Lennon's well-documented skepticism of organized religion. This discomfort was amplified when Phil Spector, tasked with finalizing Let It Be, included Lennon's sarcastic praise of the song in the form of a quip, comparing it to a hymn. Despite Lennon's clear distaste, Let It Be soared to the top of the charts, securing its place as a beloved classic, albeit the last number one single the band would release together. Lennon's complex feelings towards the song underscore the intricate dynamics that defined the Beatles' final chapter. Then it goes, When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she's standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. 